Hey everyone, it's your realtor Tristan for all things real estate related here in San Diego County. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about why all agents are not created equal. So I've noticed, and I'm sure you have too, that as the market continues to improve and it's very... Um, just good, right? It's good to sell houses right now. Prices are high and things sell quickly. We get more and more real estate agents coming into the marketplace. To be honest, it's super easy to become a real estate agent. It's a really simple test that you just memorize some information and you get licensed. Does that mean that you are ready to sell real estate? Well, I don't think so because this is the biggest decision of your financial life, quite possibly. It is an, an a avenue and a vehicle for you to build wealth and equity uh, for many years to come. Plus, it's the place that you call home. So what makes a good agent? Somebody who is a full-time, so important that you have somebody who is working in this business because it moves and it changes very quickly. Um, we see interest rates change every day. We see housing prices change every day. Um, so having a full-time agent is very important. Um, and how many homes have they sold? Uh, the average agent in San Diego County sells about four houses a year. It's a reasonable part-time living, um, but you wanna find somebody who's at least 10 or higher. An example is I sell about 20 houses a year. Um, my team that I'm currently with, they've sold over 300 last year. So it's a really full-time business. And it doesn't mean that we're better in the fact that like you should be impressed that we are selling more houses. No, it just means we know what we're doing. Okay, we write these offers over and over and over again. So then also start to look at success rate, okay? Um, everybody wants the most money for their house. And we'll talk more about that next week, pricing strategies. But really, you need to look at what is the list to sale ratio? What the heck does that mean? That means if I put your house on the market, do I price reduce it or do I get the, the most money and what I say I'm going to get for that that price? So it's that my list to sale ratio is a number I want to look at. Um, as far as my home buyers out there, um, ask your agent how many of the offers you write are getting accepted today. We are in multiple offer situations, so you have to be really strategic about how you're writing offers and how you're getting your offer accepted. So that's another good question to ask, okay? So um, the last part I wanna say is just a personal thing. Here's the deal, you have to trust this person. You have to trust their expertise. If you're buying a home, you have to like them because if you don't like them and you're stuck in the car with them driving around, it's gonna be a miserable experience. Um, so make sure that you personally, you jive with this person and you connect. Um, and I'm not the realtor for everybody, for sure, um, but I do hope I get to be a realtor for people you guys know. And my goal is to do the best job possible um, for you and to make this seamless and answer any questions you guys might have. If you have questions about this, please uh, go ahead and ask them below. If you like this information, I'd love to know. Give me a thumbs up or a heart. I'll also include a link below for uh, questions to ask your next agent. I think there's about 19 questions on there and it's a really good uh, way for you to start to figure out who's the right agent for you. Again, thanks for watching guys. This is Tristan with Homes by Tristan, your San Diego real estate agent for all things real estate related. Take care and have a fabulous day.